Kaya ngan kutuk tu kan ini, cenderung ini nona ya kuling, ya ini, ni cenderung awang ini nona, pura nona kerja ya kuling ini nalang, nona kerja kalak awang ini nona mutang ini kaya, ya ya kuling, ni cenderung leni kalad wajak beria, ni cenderung bujuran nona kerja nalang, awang ini kura, ya buruan, ni cenderung bujuran. Um, I speak. I speak in a language of, of my uh, family. Uh, the Bennells on that that side is my uh, mum's family, and uh, my uh, mum's family go back to the old Nyunga families of the well, what we call the Swan River or the Billy de Bujara, the Riverlands. On my dad's side, uh, his family were Shaws. Um, the Shaws uh, were given land by James Sterling in uh, I don't know it was about 1833, two or three or whatever it was up in the Upper Swan, and at a place called uh, Beauvoir. But the women in the tribe had sons to the Shaw family, and, and uh, that's who we are. And what we do know is that Yagan's tribe is uh, where our female Aboriginal ancestors came from. Noongar in our language means a person or a human being. So us Noongars, we come from this country and we're the Wajaks. We're from the tribes from around the Swan River and the surrounding country. So when we talk about this place, that's the authority, that's the basis that I'm telling the story. As a Nyungar, I'm connecting to my country, I'm telling you about my family, I'm talking about my country. <laughs> Down here at uh, what we call Walyalup is the crying place. You might think, why would you want to call uh, this place the Walyalup? Because this is the crying, crying country. The reason why they're crying is because it's really the burial places along the coast of Western Australia. And Yungars buried their ancestors, certainly the coastal people buried their family on the sand hills in the coast. And so the spirit could travel to the, to the west, over to what you call, um, what you people might call uh, Rottenness Island, or what we call Wajamup, which is kind of a dreamtime place where the ancestral spirits would travel after they leave the human, the human presence. In this local area, there's a story about the uh, dreamtime uh, 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 Wagal, or the rainbow serpent, most powerful sort of entity in the Noongar world. And so when the um, Wagal created the world in this part of, of Noongar lands, or in this part of Aboriginal Australia, the uh, great warp water uh, serpent told a couple of other spirit uh, creoles that they had a job to do, and one of those was the red dingo dog, or the dwart. And so Dwarda was given the job by Wargul to protect the, uh, the Beel, or the river. And you drive up, up, the, up the coast road, right? you'll see on the right hand side the big red dingo. Who's seen that big red dingo? All right. You might have asked yourself, how come I've got a big red dingo on the side of the highway? Well, that's the spirit of the place because the Wargul told the Dreamtime dingo to guard the mouth of the river. And so, is anyone, can anyone tell me which way is the dingo looking? But he is actually looking back down this way. And uh, when you sort of think, well, what is he looking at? And what job is he on about? And what, what did the big wargle, the rainbow serpent, tell the dingo dog? Was to guard in the mouth. And of course, the, the, symbolically, it's talking about guarding the river from strangers or outsiders that come into that country. I want you to have a look out here, back out to the southwest. And what do you see out there, people? Well, when the Noongars look at that part of the landscape, they see a crocodile. All right, when they look out there, they see the crocodile who wants to come into the river. The saltwater croc wants to get into the freshwater river. And of course, the dog spirit guards the mouth of the river. That also what's important around this part of the Noongar world is that um, an old story talks about uh, through my family and through the old people talk about uh, the contact. There was these boat people hanging off the coast in their boats. And the Noongar seen these boat people hanging around off the coast. Uh, these people didn't actually stay. They saw them moving back and forward on these boats over many, many years and centuries, centuries upon centuries. The Noongars theorise that these outsiders, 
these phenomena coming on these boats, what they thought or theorised the boats were like birds. They thought they were birds of some kind. You know, like when the, you, know, you see those sailing ships off the coast here and the, as the sails flap in the wind, the white sails flapping up, you know, like a duck or maybe a swan or some bird that lifts its wing and flicks itself and all the little, little ducklings or the, you know, the little cygnets or the little baby birds underneath the mum's wings. But when they saw the boats come off and they saw the boats come across the ocean onto the beach, they thought that they must be like little birds carrying what they saw as, as white people. They thought they were ghosts or spirits and that the birds were spirit carriers. Just imagine. So we've just met each other on the beach. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm going to go to the beach. 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 Alright, we don't have to imagine any more. The point is, is that the Nungas obviously asked who these people were, why are you here? Who are you, stranger? What are you doing here? Tell us what your name is and why are you here? So as you can see, when I'm sort of telling this story, I'm sort of mixing, um, I'm mixing sort of dream time Noongar stories with, with kind of uh, European contact history, because that really is a reflection of this place. Occupied Australia, or colonised Australia, like any nation that gets colonised and has trouble with the locals, ends up creating things like the Roundhouse. The Roundhouse um, played a, a crucial and central role of the incarceration of Aboriginal men onto the place called Wajama, or the dreaded Rottnest Island. So when I tell the story about uh, the Roundhouse, the, um, there's two sides. So on the one hand, some of the family are chained up and removed. On the other hand, some of the family chaining them up. Because in our family, uh, as I mentioned, some people are, um, uh, some Wadjalas are in our family who are policemen. Some of the Aboriginal in the family that have become black trackers to work with the police to uh, basically uh, chain up and remove Aboriginal men from their country. The thing about it is, is that um, people were, were transported uh, out of their country on the chain they could have been walked here, for example, if they were in uh, York or uh, Pingley or maybe at uh, Mandra, they might have walked them here. Probably might have walked them from Kalgoorlie even, maybe even Geraldton. The other way they got them here was boats. They shipped them here. In any of the old colonial records, the part of the cargo of the wind jammers coming uh, from anywhere to here were uh, Aboriginal prisoners being brought to uh, Fremantle to be uh, sent off to uh, the Aboriginal jail at Rottnest. I see, it looks like, like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, have a look see. Go no, on, every, 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 the one next door, come on, this is, his, this, is, this is history going on right now. Um, we might have found a man in the historical pictures chained up to a tree at Kalgoorlie and he's also in a photo at Rottnest. But we could uh, conclude that he certainly would have come through this place if he went to Rotto. The Patriots, the first diggers, the first military forces to defend the land against the occupiers. Today I suppose if we were talking about some colonised place in Europe right now, if they chain men up and march them out of their country to a place like Rottnest, how would it might be described? The ethnic cleansing the removal of Aboriginal men on the chain from their country to the Roundhouse in Fremantle, Western Australia. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I got really excited when seeing all you people come today, so uh, to share the story. G'day, g'day. Yeah. Kaya. 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 Kaya.